his work, a good night's sleep is all they ever make. Way, hey, another brand new day on the wild and windy shores of old Superai. From North Bay to Fort William on the Rocky North. What's up, guys? Back here with another video on our login server. I'm going to be starting out just quickly driving back into town to pick up our new upgrades we we're, we're getting like a handy down scorpion king i don't know if you guys have used it probably because you just used the scorpion king but this thing is like the handy down of the handy down of the scorpion king it is an in-game mod i'm sure a bunch of you guys are familiar with it i don't exactly know what it's called but we just bought it as you can tell we have no money in the bank account oh and we bought we bought a uh a log trailer a yeah like a log transporting trailer right there but here's our handy down scorpion king guys this is a what the a sampo rosen lou lee lou um hr 46 okay don't know what any of that means never heard of the brand was saying that oh never heard of that either so it's probably some foreign name but this is a tiny piece of equipment and we're going to be using that because, you know, the, the skid steers and all that stuff, especially doing it alone. Okay, that's a little unreal. Okay, this logging trailer is humongous. This was this was $20,000, and then that was like 150 and that was all we could afford, guys. Here we go. Let's pull out. Okay, this is going to be the, one of the sketchiest turns I've ever made. There's no way we're going to make it. Okay, let's back up. Oh, I hate, I hate this, uh, this parking lot is so hard to get, like, trailers out of and stuff like that. Okay, we should be able to get it out of here. A much wider turn that we can make. There we go. Okay, perfect. We did go in the grass a little bit, but we're going to take this back on over to our logging spot, and then we'll bring down the Ford with our PJ trailer on it, and, uh, go pick up, I'm, I'm just going to call it, um, Scorpion King Jr., or we we should make it I don't I don't I really don't know I don't know but anyway guys this is I think this is episode five um we've had two live streams of logging in three or four episodes uh videos so we are starting I think yeah we oh no wrong turn this thing we might need to get like uh what just happened all right whatever she's good she's good keep going boys keep going so Spencer TV rolls we hit things we just get no cop no stop all right boys Okay, yeah, the Duramax might be a little too small for this bad boy, especially when we get logs on it. I don't know how she's going to do, because she spins out pretty easily a lot of weight back there, way bigger than the truck itself. So there we go. So we're going to be, ch we'll, we'll, we can chip two at the same time, but first we're going to load up this bad boy to the brim. Let's turn off the engine there. And then we'll hop over, hop in our Ford. And go pick up a Scorpion King. Hopefully it'll fit in our in our little trailer back there. But anyway, here's our original logging truck. Let's take this bad boy back into town. It's kind of nice how our logging site's like kind of out of town, but not like a huge long drive. And then if you guys don't remember, there is a there's a log cell point that there's a placeable log cell point that we just bought. Where is it at? Um, I think it's on our left. No. Try to look for it. It's, it's, you like drive up on it. And you can sell wood there. Oh well. It's not a big deal. We're just going over things, okay. Yeah, it's right. It's, yeah, I think it's right in there. Yep. It is. It's right in that parking lot. You can barely see it in there. So all you do is drive over it. And it acts like a normal, like a normal cell point. But there weren't any cell points. Where am I going? There weren't any cell points on this map. So we had to make our own, which was super annoying because I thought this was a logging map. But, uh, what? A, it's not too good. Oh, let's slow down. All right, let's pick her up in here. We'll pull in. Thanks for raising the gate. Yeah, that thing is tiny compared to the Scorpion King. It's like it's a little brother. So Scorpion King Jr. will hop in her right here. Okay. I'm getting, yeah. I, I think it's reverse controls. So click both on the mouse to spin it around. This, what does this do? I'm right clicking and it just moves it by an inch. 
and that. All right, we'll, we'll get the hang of it. it. It it shouldn't be that hard at all. But yeah, we cannot afford the Scorpion King. I think it was like three hundred thousand dollars, guys. There's no way we could ever afford that. But hopefully, hopefully with this, we can we can get one someday. Okay, let's make sure we take down those straps, boys. Okay, let's take all those straps down. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's not this exact same controls as the Scorpion King. Like, for some re reason, it doesn't let me raise the boom up that high. And I want to raise it up so we don't, like, get it stuck on the on the trailer. Oh, no. No. Here, come back, come back. Okay, it's like it almost looks like an elephant with its trunk. I know, that's just me, maybe. Maybe that's just me. Okay. She's squatting, boys. Oh, she's not squatting too... She, but she is squatting. She's not squatting too bad, though. All right, let's swing wide here. Oh, the forecast says it, it might rain here, guys. So, that'll be some crazy logging if it starts raining. So, let's slow down. Swing as wide as possible. Do not hit the rock. Oh, that was close. Scorpion King's still on... Er, Scorpion King Jr. is still on there, little Jr. There we go. Let's not make a wrong turn this time. I feel like... Our Ford is handling the Scorpion King quite a bit better than our than the Duramax could handle the logging trailer. And we'll slow down here. Okay. And then a right over the curb through the woods. Nope, not a right there. We did that last time. There we go. I I do like the roundabout. I'm just it's it's I don't have the familiarity of like Goldcrest. You know, I know every single turn with my eyes closed. <clears throat> so. So it's just a little harder to navigate. Here we are. Here's our spot. We're going to get doing some work, boys. We're going to do some work. The Scorpion King's going to fly. There we go. Okay. We'll park over here. Drop her down. We really won't need the Bobcat or the JCB other than I guess we should probably use it for 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 uh, stump grinding. That'll be important because there will be a lot of stumps and we'll need to get those bad boys out of the way. But we are going to get this show on the road. So look at the controls, make sure everything's good. To turn engine on is B. And then, yeah, it, it looks like same controls as Scorpion King, just uh, a little different. Okay, so we'll line it up. First tree with Scorpion King Jr. Liner. Oh, don't want to hurt the boom. Yeah, see, you can't. It doesn't extend like down. Okay, so how do I so how do I cut? There. Now it wants to cut, but look guys, it's like a foot away from the tree. Little unrealistic, but that's alright. Let's pull up over here. Now the cut length is set at one meter and we want it probably at what's the highest it okay, it'll only go to six, so we'll we'll take it at six meters. Let's see how this goes. Not the controls. I'm I can't figure them out. Okay. So right click up and down. Just moves it a little bit. It doesn't move it a lot. And if you double click, it spins the boom. And then left click up and down. And then left click side to side. Yeah. I can't get that extra extension because usually when you like right click with the scorpion king you can like okay whatever we'll see how it goes we will see it's just not as big as just not too big and it i don't know we'll see how this goes come on we spent so much money on your scorpion king jr see that says i'm right clicking and going up and it doesn't want to I can't get the boom off the ground. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. What the? I feel like I might be doing something wrong, but I'm I'm looking at the controls right now in the top left-hand corner of the screen. And, yeah, and there's nothing that I can do. I can't get it off the ground. It only, see, I right click to go up and it only does that. Which is pretty dumb. 
super dumb. And then when I extend out, it doesn't want to raise off the ground. This is weird. This is really, 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 really weird. Okay. See, I can't get it. I can't get it to go above. You know, it just goes on the ground. I don't really know what this would be used for. Besides just cutting trees and cutting them on the ground. Guys, if you, if you know anything, comment below. This is weird. I'm trying to figure it out. We might have to resort to something that I don't want to resort to. No. We can't. So, what we would have to do... Dang it. That sucks. That really, really sucks. I can't get it up. We just spent so much money on that bad boy. Dang it. Um. Could we chip it? No, we, we probably couldn't even chip it, too. Okay, we'll, we'll probably have to get a placeable logging ramp where the JCBs can ride up or drive up on the ramp and then drop it over. So we're going to go buy that right now. All right, guys. So I think we found a solution to our problem. So what I did is, as you can tell, I just sold the logging trailer. We are going to go hop in the Duramax, go pick up a new one that's going to fix everything, guys. It's going to fix all our problems. The Duramax is a loud truck. Um... I always forget how loud it is, like when he started up, I'm not even sure what that noise is. That is not a normal truck noise. It's like a hissing. It's like it's, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's a warm up or something. But we're getting the automatic Arctic logging short trailer, which will be perfect for us. It's going to automatically load all the, all the lumber into it. We don't have to deal with that because we can't get the boom of, Scorp of Scorpion King Jr. Uh, high enough to load it by itself, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go kind of do do a squad kind of thing where he kind of cheats it and uh, and gets the automatic loader. But this thing's pretty short, it's pretty low to the ground, and and it's kind of perfect for um, our Duramax. A little not as beefy, but uh oh, should we get a dolly? We might have, to, we should probably get a dolly. But if it works fine, yeah, we might. How much is a dolly? We're probably going to have to buy a dolly. That's pretty unrealistic. $9,000, guys. We can't afford it. We can't do it. We're going to have to rough it. We're going to have to rough it up. All right, guys. We're, we're roughing it. Who cares? She's She might be scratching the bed a little bit, be messing her up. But just imagine that the tailgate's down. Um, I can't take the tailgate down on the Duramax. But uh, just we'll, we'll pretend that it's down and it's not destroying the whole entire truck. But anyway, let's get moving out. Okay. So it's auto load. So all we have to do is drive by, start auto load, and then all the logs will just fly right in there. Super duper nice, super easy, and uh, it should. We'll just start making piles with Scorpion King Jr. Um, and that'll be our goal today, guys, to, to load this all the way up, and and probably. I guess we can't really chip too. We can't really chip because we can't raise it up. Gosh dang it, that's so. If you guys have any ideas or have used it in the past and you're like, dude, it works just fine. What are you talking about? Then let me know because I would love to hear from you. Love to hear that like, hey, you raise it up by doing this. Hey, you do this. Um, Yeah, that would be awesome. All right, we're going to have to chop this one up on our own. Okay, so let's, let's test run the auto trailer before we make a huge pile. Let's get Scorpion King Jr. out of the way. Seems kind of making me mad right now. We spent all that money. And we'll tab over, hop in the Duramax. And back up. So I think you can pick what side it auto loads on. Oh. Oh no. She's down, boys. She's down. Okay. That was bad call by me. Bad call. Bad play. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. You guys didn't see that. You didn't see it. It's good. It's okay, Scorpion King Jr. We'll save you. We'll save you. Okay, tap her. There we go. She's good. She's good. She's good. So press start. Auto load it was B. And it's on the left side. So there we go. Boom. That's how we're doing it, boys. This thing's going to be a beast. We can do whole trees at a time, guys. A whole entire tree at a time. This is going to be insane. We might have to get, like... We might have to get like a huge 
stump grinder or something uh, a stump grinder that can go a lot faster because we're gonna be making s s like so many stumps let's turn on harvest there and we'll pretty much just make a few piles out here there we go just make a pile right here and then so our cut length is six meters perfect we'll make our first cut with the bad boy Perfect, there we go. I guess we can't even make our pile that high because of the problem that we have with Scorpion King Jr. She can't raise the boom up. She can't raise the boom up, boys, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It. I guess the pile doesn't... The pile can be wide. It doesn't have to be too tall. That's not... Yeah, that's kind of how we'll do it. There we go. We'll make our cut. And I... Yeah, see, like... See, it's just going to push the other log out of the way. It's so annoying. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's not too big a deal. We will need to get our stump grinder out. And I'm trying to keep an eye on exactly where the stumps are at. Because I don't... They're so annoying, like, when you hit them and stuff. Okay. Try and line it up. Yeah, the, this is quite a bit lower quality than the Scorpion King. Not going to lie. It's just what I've noticed. Don't recommend it. If you have the money, buy a Scorpion King, guys. I, yeah. If you if you have the money, just just send it, guys. Honestly. There we go. See, like right here. What do I do now? So I can kind of extend it up, raise it up a bit. There we go. All right. I'm not gonna do those big trees because I know exactly what's gonna happen. When you do those big trees, like it, it, I don't even think it, I don't even think you can do those big trees with the Scorpion King like this. So here we go. We'll get the boom down. Yeah, there's a little first person for you guys. Okay, this might be a little harder than, than I think. There we go. Cut. Perfect. Let's try and back out of here. Where's our pile? It's over there. Alrighty then. So we'll we'll do a whole tree first person. We'll see how this goes. Line her up. Swing her out. Not bad. I love the, the logging noise that it makes. There we go. So how guys, we are flossing through here. We we're knocking out a bunch of trees. There's is there a tree? Yeah, we'll, we'll get these two trees right here. Um, oh, dodge that. There we go. Okay, yeah, honestly, if we do third person, I know it's kind of hard to, like, see. It's easier to see things, but it's not as realistic. There we go. I think it's kind of nice backing up in first person. It's pretty easy because you have windows everywhere. It's super nice. There's a pile. Okay, okay. Swing that booty out. There we go. Drive up a bit and then swing the arm out and extend. There we go. This is a bigger tree. Wow, I, I thought they were all the same. I knew they were smaller ones, but I didn't know they got this big. All right, sucker back in. Go for another tree. See, it's kind of hard to uh, to do this when there's like all this brush. Okay, this tree has been bugging me. It's been over here looking at me, making fun of me, guys, and we're going to get it. We're going to get this tree. See, this brush, though, is just so annoying. There we go. We got it. We got it. Let's go. I I mean, I like how it. it's not a bad-looking uh, piece of equipment. It's just it doesn't perform like Scorpion King does. Now, if I have only used this, then it wouldn't be too big a deal. But because I've used the Scorpion King in the past, it's kind of like, oh... The Scorpion King is so much better, but let's swing out here. Stand her up. Oh, there goes the log. There we go. All right. So what I'm thinking now is we got a pretty big pile. I, I want to make sure that our automatic logging trailer is going to work 
just fine and this is gonna give it a good like kind of first load kind of base on the trailer so let's start up the old D max and so I guess we'll swing around yeah that thing is so loud oh we just ran over some wood so we'll swing around right here so we should start auto load and do it on the right side so you can switch that by pressing O see what happens should start oh I didn't there we go there they go look at that guys that is that is nice that's nice to see okay now you can switch to the left side to get this bad boy and it should go maybe not Maybe you have to be, maybe you can't be like right on top of it. All right, we're on a stump. So let's turn off auto load. And then I want to fasten all the belts. Okay, so the belts are fastened, logs are secure. Let's get another like pile, probably two si two times the size of that. And I'll probably knock out, um, probably fill this bad boy up pretty quick. I'm thinking we go deep in the forest so we can quickly like we honestly don't even really need to make a pile. We can just drive around. Okay, uh, guys, we're gonna do a quick time lapse with the Scorpion King, with the, or er, excuse me, with the JCB here and grind all the stumps that get in our way. So let's hit it. Alright guys, I think that is all the stumps. At least I could find right now. I'm sure when we're out logging, we're going to find some more. Um, and driving around, our, our tires are just going to stop. And I'll be like, gosh dang it, I didn't see that one. But we got about like 15 or like 12 good stumps that were pretty annoying throughout the um, last little session that we had there. But we are clearing out this place pretty gosh dang good, boys. Okay. See, I wish these big old trees weren't in the way. Let's see. Let's take one down, just for just for the for the heck of it. Let's say. So let's pull up. Do we have our? There we go. Now she's on. Does she even want to cut? I don't think so. Yep. It says this tree type is not supported. Okay. Yep. That's what I thought. That's okay. There we go. No big deal there. I didn't think we'd even do it, and it probably wouldn't even be smart if we did, because it would just make a big mess that we couldn't really harvest off of. So there we go. I'm thinking we just make our pile right here. That's probably better. Let's cut this bad boy to size. Strip her down. There we go. Got I know uh, some of you guys in the comment section have said that your your like dad or parents work at like a logging place, and that they they use like equipment like this on the daily which is absolutely awesome um and i just really wonder what it'd be like to do it in real life obviously it's so much harder than this just pressing a button lining it up relatively close like there's so many little things you got to make perfect um but dang i think it would just be so satisfying like right i've watched videos on youtube like real life they have like a gopro on the machine uh and like actually seeing like a machine do that to a tree take all those branches off and then the chainsaw just yeah that's pretty cool i don't know i don't know i'm just i'm i'm ranting here guys there we go let's pull that boom around 
God, it's so hard to see exactly what you're doing. There we go. We'll pull up. Swing her out. Alright, yeah, see, I don't even have to make, like, the pile that, I guess, perfect or, like, condensed. Because the auto-load trailer is so nice, guys. It's going to save us so much time. A great investment. It only costs about $20,000. Um, we had to borrow some money from the bank because, as you can tell, before we bought it, we only had, like, a couple Gs um, to our name. So, there we go. We will have a lot of money after this. We'll have to pay back the bank about twenty grand, um, which isn't bad. Not bad at all. That'll be just fine. It should be easy. The Spencer TV logging crew. There we go. Little crooked on her. All right, whatever. Let's go to the next one. Where's the next one even at? There we go. We'll take this one. So now we gotta watch out for the stumps because we're kind of like making kind of like a maze field with them back here but we will be sure to uh to to um to sell the logs here in this video guys so stay tuned till the end and we will see how much money we get for this whole entire load it's gonna be kind of interesting not gonna lie it's gonna be super interesting um to see exactly how much money we get if it's worth it i'm sure it is it, it's so much more faster than uh than our other way that we're doing it Go the other way. There we go. Okay, where's our next tree? Where's our next victim at? This one right here. See this bush? You can't even tell what's going on. Oh, I could cut right there. Okay, let's get that boom out of there. I feel like we're just swinging it into Narnia. There we go. Yeah, this pile, these trees are like perfect size probably for the Scorpion King. Any Scorpion King Jr., anything bigger would probably be a little too much for. Stand it up. There we go. We'll lay it right on top there. Drive off, get our next one. Floss these stumps boom boom right there boys. Yeah, we're gonna literally clear out like kind of this whole like two acre lot that we own pretty soon pretty soon There we go, okay, that was a huge stump that we made huge huge stump There we go swing out get parallel get parallel with her. Uh oh, that's a little crooked Should work fine though So there we go, and then go up, out, up, out. See how that goes. Yeah, we're we're starting, and we if if we have trouble loading up, we can always take like a one of our skid loaders and just kind of smash them all together. There we go. Condenser back down. All right, there's another tree. Yeah, guys, this this is already a bigger load than we had earlier. I want to get some more trees in here, and I'll see you guys once we once we get our load big enough. All right, guys, here's our big old pile. I'm gonna go tab around to the D Max, get her ready, and then okay, let's start the engine, get auto load. I don't know what side we'll need right now. Probably the right side. We'll have to swing around, but we're gonna load it up and then go sell all this good wood. See how much money we get. See how much money we get. This is all good. Fresh wood, so so it should ha sell at a pretty high. Uh, oh, is that a stump? Yeah, see, there's a lot of stumps around here now. Oh, we just smashed into the pile. All right, so let's start. So we go to the right side, start, and then we gotta like unfasten them or whatever. There we go. We're getting a few in there. Oh, they're all coming. Oh my goodness, guys, look at this load. Okay, we're gonna have to quickly fastening his L. We're gonna have to stop unloading and kind of like square back up or uh, I guess realign for our next. I guess I can kind of just back her up. There we go. Just 
can throw around. I don't notice too much of a weight problem. So that should be fine driving on the road. Um, there we go. Take the brand, take the straps off, start auto load, and we'll get like the rest of these like eight logs in here. There we go. Okay, stop. And then strap them all down, guys. There we are. Let's hop out real quick. Let's hop out. Let's save the game, too. Save the game. We would hate for anything to happen. There we go. That is sick. That is so cool. All right. There we go. Okay. Everything is perfect. We're going to head back downtown. Or into town. Excuse oh, am I... No. What is... Did we just bottom out? No way. We just bottomed out. Okay, let's hop into... Let's hop into the Bobcat. Let's go. Let's go save the day. All right, so I think we bottomed out that, like, little... Uh, I don't even know why that's there. Maybe just to balance the trailer while we're detached. All right, so... There we... Come on. Come on, Derbax, you can do it. Oh, what the heck? It's not even that big. I guess it is a, a decent sized lap. And with all that weight, I mean, yeah, I, I see why it's being like this. Okay, we're off. There we go. Thank you so much, Bobcat, for doing your job back there. There we go. We're going to drive into town. Guys, look at this huge load. I guess I do. We are rolling pretty fast, and the brakes don't stop as well. But the D-Max should be able to hand her, handle her just fine. Because the load, the logging trailer itself weighed more than all this wood and then the short logging trailer um, now. So, I think we zoom around here. Dude, what am I stuck on there? Alright, screw that gate. We're going straight through. We are getting our money. Here we go. We have $4,000. I bet we get like 40 k from this one load, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, um, so we got like 20,000. Okay, about half of what I was thinking. But we could have loaded her up some more. And those logs aren't that big. But anyway, guys, that was awesome. We got $20,000, one huge load. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like, but like, like button, excuse me, and subscribe if you guys want more. I think um our live stream, we just uh, a quick note to write down. I think the live stream, we might be doing a logging live um, and get a bunch of people on and see how much money we can make. I know we did that two weeks ago, but I think it would be really fun now with our upgrades. And maybe we'll buy more upgrades too so more people can play. But that was just a thought. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.